Chris, time to make more blams. Let's get this show on the road. You know I'm ready to get it done, my buddy. Let's make it real. Good times. I always wanted to make a blam. Dreams coming true. Mike, this is zoned off of Scott and Chris time. We can't make under these conditions. Come on, guys. I think it would be really cool to do a blamimation. Oh, you're right. It is really cool for us. You need to understand that blamimations are just for Scott and Chris. Chris and Scott. Scott. Let me handle this. Hop offline real quick and I will deal with Mike. Sure thing, best friend. Thanks, buddy. I'll never forget you. Mike, you gotta replace Scott on these blams. He is stinking it up. Total prima donna. He's horrible. No shit, I can tell. That's why I'm here. It's time for the blamimation brainstorm like we've never seen before. I'll go first. A young photojournalist is bitten by a radioactive spider and gains the proportional strength, speed, and web-slinging ability as an arachnid. The editor of the Daily Bugle hates him, but he's committed to being a hero and marrying the red-headed model of his dreams. It's called Spider-Man, but not that Spider-Man. That's not bad, but it's not as good as this. A man who talks to dogs meets a dog who can talk to ghosts. I call it... The Ghost Whisper, via a dog. Horses, beautiful, proud, and strong. I have to find them. I have to tame them. And only I can ride them. You can brush their manes. What are we doing again? That's not a very good idea. It's a show about a high school full of vampires. I call it Vampire School. No, Vampire High. I like your moxie, kid. But let's do this one. Welcome back to Mansplaining. All right, Chris, here's your scenario. Your wife just called and asked what you wanted for dinner. You said spaghetti, and you know she's hard at work. Then your buddy calls and wants to go see a movie. What do you do? Uh, uh, um, uh, what movie is it? C- can she come? Oh, I like that you were thinking of me. You're bro. Oh, I'm bro too. I forgot that I was also Jesus bro. Christ. Fuck you. No, she can't come. It's for dudes only. Don't be a pussy. I don't think you're a pussy, honey. Pussy. But I've been cooking this dinner for you for the past 45 minutes. Now you're going to go see a movie with your friends? Come on, man. You see her every day. How often do we get to hang out? Uh, okay, okay. Honey, I really appreciate that you have made the time to prepare me dinner when I know you've had a tough day as a high-power lady executive. But, you know, we could put it in the fridge and and have leftovers and maybe take her to the park. Like a, a, a picnic. A, a spaghetti picnic. Mm. So, should I buy the tickets? Well, I, I mean, it's tricky because I want to see this movie with you b- because we're friends. But uh, my wife is my best friend? Oh, and, and we can always rent it on DVD, and that way we can watch it on your big screen. Or you could come here and watch it. We could have a dinner party. Invite the Campbells. I'm going to invite my foot into your ass. Uh, but here's the thing. I can't tonight. For sure tomorrow. Get the tickets for then. No way. The whole point of going tonight is so we can make half-price happy hour hot wings at Tony Roma's. You know you're down with the roll. Uh, um... Then we see a movie and get totally fucked up. I'm not saying we do it, but... You know, like, fucked up so crazy that we're thinking about kissing? Like, if someone suggested it, it would seem like a good idea. It <laughs> does sound really good. How come hanging out with your wife never sounds as good as getting trashed with your asshole buddy from college? Uh, well, we have a, a, a unique sort of a, a friendship that just expresses itself in, in, in different ways. But, which is not to say that your contributions are not important to me, because they are. And the, oh, the way hold I, on. I'm getting a call. Let me check my phone. Oh, hey, look at this, Chris. It's from your vagina. Should I take it? <gasps> you let him talk to you like that? That's pretty funny, actually. I mean, how would a vagina even use a phone? I know, dude. It's like, where's the handset? <laughs> no, not that a vagina is not a completely valid organ in its own right and should be respected as such. I, Come on, dude. In or out? Well, And while I appreciate your companionship, friend, you also have to realize that my wife has gone to considerable effort to craft a, a meal for her life mate. And you know what? Fuck you. This is bullshit. You have a real problem, man. A real problem. She's running your whole life. You know what? Enjoy dinner with the warden. Ah, I know, dude, right? What a bitch and stuff. I just really hate this woman now. Well, we've all had that experience. Am I right, my man? Too late, bro. Oh, wait. Oh. Hey, honey, I guess, um, you know what? I'm going to be home for dinner tonight. Spaghetti dins with my lady. <laughs> Why bother? I know you don't even want to be here. Just go with your best friend, but when you come back, you can sleep on the couch. Yeah. Chris, I am so sorry. Looks like you weren't able to mansplain your way out of this pickle. You do get a copy of our home game, A Lean Cuisine and Hiding in the Bathroom Masturbating. Good night, everybody. I really thought I was threading that needle. See, Mike? No, jeez. <laughs> See, Mike? Not as easy as it looks, is it? Fuck. <laughs> what the hell? What are you? I don't know. See, Mike, it's not as easy as it looks, is it? Don't worry, Chris. I'll take Mike to the downtown. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? You are all staying in. <laughs> uh-uh. mm. 
See, Mike's not as easy as it looks, is it? Don't worry, Chris. Oh, What's <laughs> up? One mic. See, Mike? It's not as easy as it looks, is it? Don't worry, Chris. I'll talk to him and let him down easy. No problem, best friend and secret wish dad. Wink. See? You see that shit? I have to put up with that homo shit every goddamn day he winks at everything. Petty winks his dick to sleep at night. It's bullshit, and you deserve better, and so do I. That's why I've been secretly grooming you to replace Chris on these blams. I've been sitting by the phone waiting for that call. Then it's time to put you through the gauntlet. If you survive these fires, then I know you're ready to kill Chris and take his place at my right hand. Do I have to eat his heart? Absolutely you have to eat his heart. Three single men living in San Francisco's Mission District use their own brand of magic to protect the innocent. Tune into the CW for Gay Charmed. That's actually way better than this idea. A dungeon master uses his knowledge of fantasy to solve modern crimes. I call it Roll for Murder. No, no, no. This is the murder idea. While vacationing in Maui, a down-on-his-luck gumshoe picks up a suckerfish attached to his neck. A suckerfish proficient at solving crimes. Tune in for Remora and Fedora. I don't get that one. A small town's only doctor is also its only sheriff. I call it Officer Doctor. Oh, God damn it! that's a great idea, but instead let's do this. <laughs> that's hot material. Wow, we got through it. Flindell! Kadath? Half thou cometh to win the heart of a fair maiden of our realm? I have indeed. Tonight I will best many a champion, and lo, though I risk my own safety, I do so to win the heart of a fiery shield maiden of Hawksmoor. <laughs> no fighter pride have I ever laid eye the pod. Well, hey, there's more Tang here than an astronaut convention. <laughs> you guys can't use that as mine. Erwin, what are you doing here? I thought you already had a steady girlfriend. Oh, I do. And you would betray her honor by seeking the bosom of another maiden? Trey, whoa. My relationship with Sarah is in the real world. This is LARP. If I want to roleplay with some of these nerd bitches, that's not cheating. It's roleplaying. What? Hold your foul tongue, Erwin. You overstep your bounds. None of these chaste maidens are interested in parlaying with you. Listen, nerds, you're killing my game. Why don't you buzz off? Maybe go fight a dragon or something. Ha! Dragons? There has not been a dragon sighted in these lands since the Third War. No, I saw a dragon outside. Oh, you lie! No, it's like two guys in a giant paper mache thing with wings and a head. I don't know. They were roaring and people were running from it. <gasps> Dragons have returned to Hawksmoor? Has someone informed a vizier? Douche. You're a vizier. A field commendation? I won't let you down, Thurbane. Wait. Kadath, don't you see what he's doing? What do you mean, Flandell? He's trying to distract you from the women folk so that he may partake in their bounty instead of us. Hey, oh fair maiden, good morrow. <laughs> Flindell, now is no time to worry about parties and maidens. The great worms have returned. You, me, a goblet of wine, maybe lie down in a bed of rabbit furs. With me? Oh, <laughs> yeah, with you. There are no dragons in this campaign, you idiot. Idiot? You speak to a field vizier of the Circle of Smoke! I got my own tent on the edge of town. Why don't we retire to it? You can take off those ears, or keep them on. I don't really give a shit. Fool! Only the king can promote a member to the Circle of Smoke. Uh, yeah, I'm the king now. You therper! Tell you what, I'm gonna evacuate these ladies here to my tent. You know, for protection. Even though I suspect a trap, there's no need for these delicate petals to witness the horrors of the Great Worm. <laughs> well... They're going to see a great worm either way, but yeah, good idea. Oh, you would sacrifice him to the great beast to appease its appetite? No, no, I mean my penis. That's pretty cool. He is that. really cool. All right, you guys go out first. Clear a path. To arms! To arms! To arms! Fight the dragon! Ah! Ah! Mm. What? Was it? Where's the dragon? Yeah, I'm not entirely sure he was being honest with us. Part light. <laughs> 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 oh, Mike, you're the best plan maker. Much better than Chris. What in the Lord's fuck is going on in here? Oh, what? Chris, no, I... Are Mike you making I... a blamation with Mike? No, I would never make... Well, wait a minute. Didn't you make a blamination with Mike? Well, I didn't mean to, but I guess maybe <laughs> oh, I... Uh, you, uh, I you did. did. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 hey, I want to be mad too, guys. Uh,